Hello everybody, Kaboost.exe here with another Killing Floor 2 Seasonal Objective video. This year's item is the Voodoo Backpack, which you can see on screen here. In order to get it, you'll need to complete the five seasonal objectives for the Halloween 2020 event. I'm going to go through all the objectives here and gonna give you some tips on how to do them. Let's start off with the one that most of you are here to probably figure out how to do, and that's the one called At Any Cost. It's actually the third one on the list, but I figured it's the one that you're probably here to see more so than any of the other ones. Before I show you where each one of them are located, there are three total in this map, I want you to know about what they do. When you activate the obelisk by walking up to it and sacrificing 20 HP, you get a damage and movement speed boost and lose the ability to be healed while under its effects. I think they are a great addition to the game, but I'm really happy to see them in this game. I love the buff you get. But more importantly, for the sake of the seasonal objectives, you don't have to be the one to activate it. As long as somebody in your game activates one of the obelisks, you get progression in your seasonal objective. Even then, each one is on their own separate timer, so you can actually activate them maybe twice a wave if it goes long enough, and you can activate each one of them on their own in the wave. So you can activate one obelisk, run to the next one, activate that one, run to the third one, activate that one, run back to the first, and by then you probably can activate it. But honestly, you really shouldn't have to worry about that. Just hang around one of them and use it once a wave and you'll have it done as one of your first seasonal objectives. I guarantee it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you where all of the obelisks are. Starting from this room. It's a big room here. It's got bodies hanging. It's got this thing with the lava in it. But more importantly, it has a trader pod next to the green grin. Trader pods are near the obelisks. So that's going to be kind of a nice little landmark for us to use. So our first one is actually going to be up the stairs here right next to the trader pod. We're going to go up this steps with the gore in it, and then just go this way, and you'll see the obelisk right here. This is what they look like. They're pretty, pretty mean looking, but they're actually really useful with that buff that they give you. This area here is, in my opinion, the second best area to fight Zeds. It's got a nice way means of escape, and on top of that, it's it's just a great place to fight kind of bosses. You've got places to duck and hide under. If you have a nice big group, this is a great place to be. Now, the next obelisk is my personal favorite. You can get there from either this way or going straight ahead. I'm going to show you how to get there from going straight ahead. Now, if you're going from the right direction, I think you can get there, but it will also lead you to the third obelisk, which I will show you later. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually jump down this way. I think this way it's faster. That's why we're going this way. Then we're going to go to the shops through this door. And then we're going to go down this way through this uh, gray gateway. And we're going to go to the platforms zero to four. In here, you will notice that there is a trader pod on your right. If you go to your left, you will see the obelisk on the top of these stairs. And that's where we're going to go. This here, this area right here is my personal favorite place to be on this map. I think it's a great place if you are playing any long range class because you have a nice way of just getting the high ground on these Zeds. Normally, there's a hell portal there where Zeds may come out of. And, that, you know, that's pretty nice. Get a straight path there. They're going to come out of that hell portal and they'll come from that direction. Obviously, you got a lot of ways in, but because you have a lot of high ground, a lot of time for them before they get to you, it gives you a nice opportunity to fight back, especially when you have this obelisk give you a hand. Now, the next hell portal, the third and the final one, can be gotten from two directions from here. You're going to go that way, which is actually faster, but this way has a trader pod that I would like to show you as well. So if we go down these steps and uh, past these spikes sticking out of the ground. I wonder what these things are supposed to be. Anyway, go left here. You're gonna follow these signs that lead you to the underground. Don't go through this way, although you could go through there to get there. Then we're gonna go right, and then we're gonna go left here through the underground sign. You'll see that there is a trader pod. That's the landmark I wanted to show you. And we're gonna go down these steps, down the, and then down these steps. Sorry, I always get stuck here. Yeah, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck on the level geometry, kids. Then over here, this route on the left will lead you back to that second help, or that second obelisk, right? And then if you go right into the underground, this is where we'll lead to the third one. There's the obelisk right there. I believe there is a trader pod here. Yes, no, 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 I don't think there is. But there's a trader pod nearby that, yeah. So this is the third and final obelisk that will give you the hellish rage. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get back to the second one because I just figured I've talked about it so much. Let me just show you how to get there. We're going to go this way, back to the platforms zero to four. Got to go up here, 
and up this way and uh, then through this area here which personally I think is a great place to fight bosses as well it's kind of open but also enclosed enough for you to be able to uh, hide behind walls and stuff if you need to what is that look at that red mark anyway uh, I'm gonna go this way my ADHD kicked in right there and this, this hell portal that's following me around looks really familiar to you that's because the obelisk is right there this map is basically a bunch of like circles. I mean, that's pretty common with all killing four maps. I feel that's really easy to find anywhere you're going from anywhere. Just it kind of closes in on itself. So you have an easy time finding different routes to get to each one of these hell portals. All right, so let's get back to the rest of the video. Okay, now that we're done talking about the obelisk, let's get back to the top of the list here. First up here, we have an infernal legion. It's a fairly simple one. Kill 2000 Zeds on any map or mode. This isn't one that you're really gonna have to worry about, mainly because, well, it's it, you don't even have to play the new map in order to get it. Just play Killing Floor 2 and you're gonna get it eventually. Sorry to say that there's not much I can really give for advice in order to get this one any faster. Moving on, our next one is Weekly Invasion. As the name would imply, it is completing the weekly on the new map, Hellmark Station. I feel like I need to make a video that discusses every one of the weeklies and what's the best way to approach each one of them. The only advice I can ever really give is play it using Gunslinger, but that's because I'm kind of biased there. However, I will say this. If you're doing it on Up Up and Decay, you know, thoughts and prayers, man. That That is, that is my least favorite and probably one of the hardest ones in my personal opinion. Good luck. Moving on to the next one, we have Demon Slayer, which is one that I don't think we've gotten before. What you need to do is decapitate 600 Zeds on Hellmark Station. For this one, I'd recommend picking a class that isn't Firebug or Demolitionist. Anything that can get precision headshots on any Zed is one that you're going to want. So using, you know, obviously Sharpshooter and Gunslinger. SWAT is a good one to use. Even support's pretty good, and you could probably even use Commando. I believe, you know, Berserker can work, but it requires a little bit more, you know, making sure you're hitting them in the head. Just play Hellmark Station a few times or do it on Endless and see how far you can make it and you'll probably get put a nice big dent into it. And speaking of Endless, the final objective we have for this season is an Exhaustible Chaos, which is to complete Wave 15 on Endless Hard or Higher on Hellmark Station. It's a standard one we have with the seasonal objectives here. The only standard one we haven't really seen here is the one that we've seen with all the ones previously, which is to simply just play the new map on survival on harder higher. I guess they figured it's such a common one and obviously people are going to play that one, so why bother? But this one is fairly simple. You don't even have to be there from the beginning. As long as you're there for when wave 15 is completed, you're going to get this one done. But I do recommend starting from the beginning just so that way you can get some points in for headshots as well as Zed kills for the other two seasonal objectives. Doing an inexhaustible chaos first will basically guarantee you getting at any cost done first. Then Infernal Legion will have a nice big chunk of Zeds done for that one. And then you'll probably get Demon Slayer at some point. Weekly Invasion and Inexhaustible Chaos are the only ones that you're really going to have to go out of your way to do. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope this has been helpful for you, at least in the obelisk sense. Let me know what other Killing Floor 2 content you would love to see in the future. If you like this video, leave a like and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for future Killing Floor 2 videos. And while you're here, you should check out some of my Killing Floor 2 weapon guides and reviews. I did four of them so far. You should go take a look at them. There's a playlist here on screen. But until next time, I've been Caboose.exe, and I hope to see you folks soon. And remember, I love you. Bye-bye. Uh, 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 oh, this, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to do it. I want to do it. I want to see what it's like being a medic with this thing. Oh, my God. She's running through. <laughs> 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 God damn it, I hate when I'm doing this. I'm a healer, tank damage dealer. <laughs>